uh, the New York Times report, Donald Trump Jr. was being told uh, that material on Hillary Clinton, offered specifically by a Russian lawyer, was part of a Russian government effort to help his father's election campaign. This comes from a publicist by the name of Rob Goldstone, who arranged the June 2016 meeting with the lawyer, and it was his emails that have now started to emerge. And, and what you're seeing is some um, elements of these emails on your screen. Um, Rob Goldstone emails Mr Trump Jr. saying the meeting would be, quote, part of Russia's support for your father. And in his reply, uh, Mr Trump Jr. appears to say that he loves the idea at least of learning more about a meeting. Um, and there are one or two other lines that are beginning to emerge as well. Uh, an email to Mr Trump Jr. says that Crown Prosecutor of Russia offered to provide the Trump campaign with documents damaging to Hillary Clinton. Uh, that's one line. And an email as well citing sensitive information that is, quote, part of Russia and its government support for Mr Trump. We should stress, of course, that Mr Trump Jr. has always defended attending the meeting. This was certainly the line that was around this morning saying the promised damaging information, as far as he was concerned, did not materialise. But we... Um May get more on that. Yes, uh, certainly this, a very, uh, very interesting hour. development as uh, the investigation continues in Washington. Now, I was reading some of those uh, email exchanges a moment ago. Let's talk more about uh, what Donald Trump Jr. has posted on Twitter. This is about what he said was the full text of emails about the Russian offer to provide information on Hillary Clinton during the 2016 US presidential campaign. We've been talking about the uh, New York Times uh, element of this story, which has brought more to the American public this morning. In one key exchange, this is Rob Goldston, the publicist, uh, who has brought forward this information, saying this. This is obviously very high level and sensitive information, but it is part of Russia and its government's support for Mr Trump. Well, a few moments later, Donald Trump Jr. responds by saying this. It seems we have some time, and if it's what you say, I love it, especially later in the summer. Well, let's uh, speak to our senior North America reporter, Anthony Zerka. Um, guide us through all this. Anthony, what does it tell us? Well, I think it tells us that Donald Trump Jr. clearly knew that he was going into this meeting uh, with what he thought was a Russian government attorney and that he was going to be provided documents or given information from the Russian government that was incriminating, incriminating, damaging to Hillary Clinton, who was at the time the presumptive Democratic nominee. Uh, if it certainly shows an intent to collude with the Russian government, whether that actually took place in the meeting. The, the Russian lawyer, Natalia Veselnitskaya, has denied it. Uh, but this is actual documentary evidence of what Donald Trump Jr. thought when he was going into the meeting. And another interesting point that has been picked up on uh, is that this entire email chain uh, from the beginning was forwarded to Jared Kushner, Donald Trump's son-in-law, and Paul Manafort, Donald Trump's campaign chair, the day before the meeting. Now, uh, if you would follow the New York Times articles, those two gentlemen had said that they didn't have any idea what the meeting was going to be about going into it. If these documents that Donald Trump Jr. has posted to Twitter are legitimate and if they, uh, if they are accurately portrayed, then, then both Jared Kushner and Paul Manafort had the, the entire list of what was going to take place, what was going to be provided, who was going to be, they're going to be meeting with, and what was going to be discussed, my new Russian government documents, into that meeting. So it's a pretty remarkable development. Mm. Why has Donald Trump Jr. gone public with all this in this case? That's a very good question because this is certainly not exculpatory evidence. It's, uh, it, it makes Donald Trump look like he very well knew uh, that he could be colluding with the Russian government going in the meeting. The theory is that the New York Times had a hold of these emails and were getting ready to publish them. Possibly they approached Donald Trump Jr.'s lawyer and asked for him to confirm it. And so in an, in an attempt to get ahead of the story, perhaps he put it on Twitter. To, uh, to He said in his, his statement when he put it on Twitter that it, yeah, in the interest of openness, that's what he was doing. But I can't imagine that any lawyer would advise putting this out in the public domain.